Hello, when you hear this voice right here on Ghana's number one online radio station, it's your most educative program live on Penny Radio, Hope for the Hopeless. You are welcome. I trust you're going to add up to knowledge after this wonderful edition of your most educative program live on radio, Penny Radio, Hope for the Hopeless. The program is Grammar Check. Just check that grammar. Once again, as your regular host, I'm here with my regular co-host, Winifred Wilson. And I am Victor Yeple. So first on our list is our first segment, that's the grammatical expressions. And for today's grammatical expressions, Winifred, can you help us? Okay, so the very first one, we have thick tall. And the second one is? As at. And then the last one? Open, that's open your books okay. to. Okay. To that effect, all of them are phrases because yeah. they're more than one word. One word. Good. So, Winifred, as usual of us, let's put them into sentences for better comprehension. So, I'm going to give the first sentence. Uh -huh. If I'm wrong, you alert me. If I'm right, to you call my attention to it. So, Winifred, mm -hmm. this is my example. My father is handsome, comma, thick, tall, full stop. Am I right or wrong? Oh, you're wrong. What should we know? Okay, so with the same example, it should be, my father is handsome, okay. comma, and well built. Wow. Yeah, you can use that one, or you can also use my father is handsome, comma, stout and tall. Interesting. Instead of thick tall. Wow. Is there any reason, or are there any reasons? Okay, so someone who is stout mm -hmm. is rather fat. Interesting. Also, someone, mm -hmm. especially a man, mm -hmm. who is well built, okay, is big mm -hmm. and solid with strong muscles. Okay. Okay. So the expression "thick tall" is not even acceptable. Therefore, avoid it. So you've been informed. So let's speak as at and educate our people. So if you can begin with the first example. Yeah, let me read the first example. She had not reported as at the time I was leaving the office. You are wrong. This is actually incorrect. Oh. It should be, uh -huh. she had not reported as of the time I was leaving the office. Really? Yes. Why is it so? This is the reason. As of. Uh -huh. The phrase as of. Not as at. Uh -huh. It's used to indicate a date or a time something starts or started. So you have no excuse. Whether it is past or present, you use as, as of, of and not as, as at. At. I'm sure you are wild. In fact, that's the reason we are here. To educate you and to, op and to open your eyes to the right expression when it comes to the English language. We will return with the last one, and that is open to. Mm -hmm. Open your books to. Please stay tuned. Welcome back to the last phrase under the first segment, the grammatical expressions. And we have open into bracket your yeah, books, books to. to. Open into bracket your books, bracket closed, to. So open your books to. Now I'm going to give the first example. No, let me give it because I'm fond of saying that. So most of it. You are fond of saying that. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Let's hear you. Okay, so open your books to page <laughs> 49. Okay, so take the first example. Okay, so as I read earlier, open your books to page 49 or open your books to page 38. And this is absolutely incorrect. Wow. The correct sentence should be open your books at page 49 so the preposition or others who say preposition should not be to True. but at and the second one can also be turn your books to this is where the preposition or preposition to comes in mm -hmm. page 49 turn your books to page 49 Winifred do you know the reason no please tell this me this is the reason when you use open as in a book or anything Use the preposition or preposition at. But when you use ten, as in a book or anything, use the preposition or preposition to. So we open books at page 49 and turn to page 49. I'm sure you are smiling now. 
Well, this is where we bring an end to the first segment. We will return with the second segment, that is Viera Bastem. We will be back to blow your mind again as to the correct pronunciations of English words. Please stay tuned. So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, men and women, boys and girls, to your most educative program live on radio, Ghana's number one online radio, Penny Radio, Hope for the Hopeless. We are here live on Grammar Check, and we are here to give you nothing but the best. Now back to our second segment, and we have the Error Buster. The Error Buster. And for today's Error Buster, we have... We have P-R-E-L-U-D-E. Let's take that together. P-R-E-L-U-D-E. -E. Most often, people pronounce the word as what? Prelude. But the word is prelude. Prelude. Not prelude, but prelude. And prelude is something that begins another thing. Something that begins another thing. So before a movie is shown on screens, or on a screen, realize that um, the cast will be shown. The names of those present in the movie and the roles they play will be shown before the images um, follow. So these things are the prelude. You know, these are the prelude leading to movies. So prelude is something that begins another thing. So please stay tuned. We'll return with the penultimate round, which is our idiomatic expression. You live on Penny Radio, your number one online Christian radio station. If you are also in need of all the episodes of Grammar Check, kindly subscribe to my personal YouTube page, Yetle Victor, and you would have all the episodes concurrently also on Penny GH. We are back with a third segment, and we have our idiomatic expression. Our idiomatic expression. And Winifred is going to help us with that particular segment. So what do we have for our idiomatic expression today, Winifred? To take the bull by the horns. Which means? To tackle, tackle the, the difficulty, difficulty with, bravery. with bravery. So to tackle the difficulty with bravery, bravery. is to take the bull by, by the, the horns. So I have an example here I would like to read. Okay. Helena decided to take the bull by the horns and organize the show herself. After this penultimate round, we will return with our final segment being the figure of speech. The figure of speech. We won an award over the weekend and then... Uh, I'm just here to thank you. I just don't know what to say anymore. I won the, the Ghana Institute of Journalism, the weekend school personality. Thank you so much for all the votes, the support, the prayers, sharing of flyers, encouragement, advice, everything. God richly blessed and replenished each and every one of you out there who have been so supportive to this course. For our final segment, we have our figure of speech. And for today's figure of speech, we have didactic. Didactic. Didactic, didactic spelled D I. D A C T I C. Let's take that together. Did that didactic, didactic spelled D I D A C T I C. Let's take that together. Didactic, didactic. spelled D I D A C T I C. Now, when we say something is didactic, it means the thing is intended to teach or instruct. instruct. Watch movies that give you lessons. Or if you watch a movie that gives you lessons or a lesson, then we say that movie is what? Didactic in nature. Yes. If you experience a situation that leaves you with a lesson to learn, then we are referring to that situation as being a didactic, didactic. situation. Thank you so much for joining us. Until we come your way next week, God willing, I am yours truly, Victor Yetler. And Winifred Wilson. Goodbye. <laughs>